every community benefits from having a proper water tank. But the conventional and urban construction method is quite challenging. For one thing, the raw materials are bulky, making transportation an issue in hilly areas. And secondly, skill labor is a necessity. But there is a simpler and cheaper alternative. Have you heard of ferro cement? It has all the benefits of RCC minus all its hassles. It's cheaper and very easy to work with. How easy? Easy enough that you learn to build an entire water tank in the next 4 minutes. Okay, first let's take a look at our raw materials. We require cement, sand, admixture, weld mesh, chicken mesh, steel bars and a PVC pipe and some wooden props. Now, a ferro cement water tank can be made in three very simple steps. Step 1. Building a base First, we need to find a suitable and a firm piece of land and then clear it. Next, we have to mark a circle of one foot more than outer radius of the tank we are building. Within the circle, we'll get rid of the loose soil and fill the space with stones. Remember, the stones will have to be compacted to make a sturdy base. And finally, we'll pour PCC on it, making a layer of at least 75 mm in thickness. Our base is ready. And once the PCC has dried out, we can proceed to our next step. Next step is making the framework. Mark a circle equal to outer radius of tank considering same center point which marked circle for base. At the center of our base, we erect an 8 inch diameter PVC pipe. This will be filled with cement concrete to act like a central column. Within the pipe, we'll also insert a steel bar to provide reinforcement. This structure will help to support the roof slab. And around this, we'll construct a skeleton using vertical angles and vertical and circular steel bars. The design specifications will vary depending on the size of the tank we want to build. So for example, this 50,000 liter tank has 20 vertical angles spaced 900 mm apart, center to center. Every two vertical angles have three steel bars between them, spaced 225 mm from each other. Lastly, the entire structure is held together with horizontally placed circular steel bars to bind all vertical steel bars, a spacing of 150 mm between them. Next, we need to add a mesh to the structure. Our mesh is actually a combination of two meshes. A layer of weld mesh fastened to two layer of chicken mesh, that is one layer each side. This combined mesh is wrapped around the skeleton. An additional layer of only chicken mesh is wrapped around the inside. And just like that, we've arrived at our final step. It's actually quite straightforward. Just remember to attach an inlet and an outlet pipe before plastering. And also leave an opening 2 feet wide on top so that someone can enter the finish tank for cleaning and for maintenance purposes. Just add one overflow pipe below 20 centimeters from top. One flush pipe at bottom lowest point to clean the tank. Back to the task at hand. The cement mortar is made of one part cement and three parts sand. Add water, then add mixture as per manufacturer recommendations. Step 3. Plaster Finishing Use temporary wooden props below the slab reinforcement before applying cement mortar. Top of the tank first, proceeding then to the outer side. You will see that the mesh does a good job of holding the mortar in place. This process is basic. Anyone and everyone from the community can participate. The wall thickness should be between 30 to 75 mm depending on how much is needed to have at least a 5 mm cover on the steel bars. Next comes the only part of our tank building that requires skilled labor. The plastering of the tank walls to make them even from inside and outside. At least 5 mm layer of cement mortar on steel should be ensured. After this, all we need to do is cover our tank with gunny bags and water it for 2 weeks straight for curing. After completion of curing, apply 2 coats of white cement as paint. Similarly, 
small sizes of ferocement tanks can be built with only well mesh and chicken mesh. Congratulations! You now have your very own ferro cement water tank. And you'll be pleased to know this tank comes with a bunch of advantages over its competitors. It's more durable than HDPE tanks with a life up to 50 years with timely maintenance and aftercare. It gives flexibility in shape and size. It's also the cheapest among all tank building methods, easy to construct, even in remote areas with unskilled labor and material available in any hardware shop in nearby town. The principles of our tank building can also be extended to constructing ferro-cement water troughs. Like before, on a firm base, we'll make the skeleton using 8 mm steel bars. The shape we are going for is a semi-cylinder, 1 meter in diameter and 3 meters in length. And like before, the bars will be spaced 1 feet apart. The structure will be covered in a familiar chicken mesh and well mesh combination and the whole thing will then be coated with cement mortar. After a skilled mason applies the finishing touches, we'll let the tank cure for two weeks. And there you have it, just like the tank of ferro cement water trough. The ferro cement technology has been a boon to quite a few communities in the country especially in hilly areas, supported by Reliance Foundation. Water harvested from small springs has boosted the agriculture of the region. In fact, the local population is not just consuming the yield, but also selling the surplus for a profit. Ferro cement has managed to create new livelihoods and improve the overall quality of life in rural India. It's time to bring this change to your community too. Are you ready to build a water tank?